Do not waste your money to upgrade to ChatGPT Plus. Don't do it if your only reason to upgrade to ChatGPT Plus is to utilize the Canva plugin with ChatGPT because it's shit and I'm gonna walk you through exactly why it's shit right now. I'm so ticked off. I just wasted $20 to pay for ChatGPT Plus, which I will be canceling upon finishing this video, to create Pinterest pins with ChatGPT and show you how to do it. Well, much to my chagrin, is that the right word? I have no idea. You can't actually do that. You can't do it. I'm putting my feet up because I'm ticked off. You can't do it and it will only access public templates. It cannot access your brand kit. It cannot access your files. It cannot access any of your own brand templates. You literally are just paying $20 for ChatGPT Plus to use the Canva plugin to then have to go and edit every single file that you create. So you might as well just open Canva, choose your designs, create them in Canva and save yourself, what, $240 a year? No, thank you, no ma'am. Without further ado, let's just dive right on into this tutorial because I've already spent the money and I might as well recoup some of it with YouTube ads. So let's go. And to use the Canva plugin, you need to upgrade to ChatGPT4 or ChatGPT Plus, you will click this little tab and follow the instructions on the screen to actually turn on your billing. I'm skipping past that part because you don't need to see my billing information. The next step is actually gonna be to make sure in your settings that your plugin is, uh, the plugin feature is turned on. So come to beta features within settings and turn this on. Once you have that turned on, you're gonna see this little thing right here that says no plugins enabled. You can see I have Canva listed. The first thing you actually need to do is go to the plugin store and search for Canva and then install it. There'll be a green install button here. Click install. I already have it installed. Now we just need to go and enable our plugins together. So it'll install the plugin, then you need to enable it. Now I do want to preface this tutorial by telling you that if you're using any third party apps or Chrome extensions within ChatGPT, like specifically I use web ChatGPT with one click prompts powered by Max AI, um, it will not work in conjunction with ChatGPT4 and the plugins feature. So you, you have to remove the plugin, refresh your screen, and then ChatGPT4 will come on and you can check the box for plugins and you can see it. Unless there is you know, a workaround I'm not figuring out, but I had to completely remove my plugin. So we now have our chat open. So now all we need to do is actually tell it to create Pinterest pins for us. Now, like I said before, you can't actually use your own templates or brand kit or font or photos to have ChatGPT actually generate those pins for you. So basically you're doing, uh, basically what you're doing is paying $20 extra a month to use this app, if that's the only reason you're using it. And then you are telling ChatGPT to generate Pinterest pins for you and then having to open those individually in Canva to then go on and edit them, which is annoying. So here we go. Um, you're gonna tell it to use Canva. So you put in your um, command and you hit enter and it's telling you right here it's using Canva. So what it's doing is it's connecting over to Canva and it's and it's not connecting to your Canva, it's just connecting to public Canva. And it's pulling out Pinterest pin templates. Now I've tried this three different times now and it pulls the same exact pin templates every single time. So I think definitely one of the cons is that if everyone else is using the same feature, then everyone else's pin templates and pins are gonna look the same. That is definitely one of the downsides to using public templates within Canva is the lack of choice against what everyone else is using. So once it's done generating here, I'm actually going to click one of these and I'm gonna take you into Canva and I'm gonna show you why this sucks. So I'm just gonna click use this template. It's gonna open a Canva window and it's gonna copy the template into my Canva account. 
and it just gives it a name of Pinterest, and this is the image, and this is the text, and that's it. Now, what you can do from here is go to your brand kit and rebrand this if you would like to, according to your brand, and then you can change quickly your font if you would like to do that as well. But again, you're having to actually physically edit these yourself. You're having to edit the font, edit the colors, edit the images. This is no faster than simply going in and going to create design, Pinterest pin, adding a public template because that's what we're doing here. That's what we're using. And then changing all of this out. Like it's really no faster to use ChatGPT because you, you're telling it to use your text overlay. It can't do that. It can't use any of your stuff. So that is essentially how you're using ChatGPT to create content for you. You can also say, you can tell it what you want it to make it f make all day long, but it's still not going to do it. Essentially, all you can do is tell it, please use Canva to create Instagram reels. And that's the only part of this entire command that it's listening to. So what I would rather you do is to visit my previously published video on how to use ChatGPT bulk create with Canva to bulk create your Pinterest pin titles, bulk create your Pinterest pin descriptions, and then come back and go into Canva and make those designs according to your template style. That is how you are going to create Pinterest pins utilizing a little bit of ChatGPT and speeding up your process a lot more. So I, this is definitely not, this is not it. I don't have any other reasons to pay for ChatGPT Plus right now. So I'm definitely gonna be canceling my subscription to it. I would love to hear in the comments how you use ChatGPT Plus if you do and why I should keep it. Because at this point I've been using the free plan for this entire year, what like nine or 10 months now. And I don't really see the point in upgrading, especially not if the only reason you want to do it is to speed up your image design process for any of your social media accounts. So that's it. That's how you do it. Um, it does stay down here at the bottom. You can customize these templates to fit your brand. Would you like more information on how to customize them? If you click any of this, it's literally just going to take you to the templates that is already above in the chat within ChatGPT. So that's it. Okay, so we're a couple of days after my ranty ChatGPT and Canva connection and Canva just this week after my rant released their new magic design tools. There's tons of new magic tools and I want to walk you through and leave you with some value in this video instead of just a rant. So what I'm going to walk you through is instead of using Canva with ChatGPT, Let's just use Canva. So what I want you to do is click on this magic design icon in the newest features lineup and just click magic design. And then you're going to choose Pinterest pins um, as your template. And it's going to say innovative sales pitch deck here. Like that's an example. Um, so we're going to do a, we're going to give it a command. So let's just say we want, um, I don't know, a food pin. So create a Pinterest pin showcasing. And then you're going to choose the category that you want it to be. So we're going to go to social media and we're going to choose Pinterest pins. And then, so you've put your command in, now you've narrowed down exactly what you want. And then you're going to click on that image and click customize template. It has gone and inserted a image for you in the template and it's put some text here with a placeholder. So this is a much better way to create Pinterest pins using AI than using ChatGPT. Now you can still use ChatGPT like in previous tutorials that I've shown you to write pin titles if you'd like to, or if you would like to, you can also just use docs in Canva and use the magic write feature to write Pinterest pin titles. So, and then click generate and it's going to come up with pin titles for you. You can also do this for pin descriptions. Now I did want to bring you into another tool that I was just playing with called magic media. 
that they've just released. And basically you, you tell it what you want as far as a design. And this can be images or videos. So let's just say we wanted a uh, roast beef dinner. So let's just give it this, um, this command right here. And crock pot roast beef dinner in a um, fall setting. And you can tell it what size, uh, what aspect ratio you want, and then you just click create image, and it's gonna create something from um, their little AI tools, which is really, really nifty. So instead of worrying so much about Canva and ChatGPT and wasting your $20 a month with that connection, let's just utilize our Canva subscription to create so much better um, Pinterest pins and images. Look at this image. That is amazing. I would totally eat this. <laughs> so Canva Magic Tools just released this week. Magic Design, Magic Media, and obviously Magic Write. So those are the three tools that I've just shown you in a really quick tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like a deep dive on Canva's new Magic Tools. I've been playing with them for a couple of days since they were released and I'm finding some of them pretty compelling. So let me know in the comments down below. I was a little bit feisty there and I just want to apologize, okay? I'm sorry that I was feisty. I just think it's a waste of your money if the only reason you're going to use ChatGPT Plus is to utilize the Canva plugin feature. These videos are starting to really pick up steam on the internet. I've been seeing them in my recommended feed because I've been doing a lot of research around Canva and ChatGPT for Bolt Create, which is already a video on this channel. So with that being said, if that is the only reason you're gonna use ChatGPT Plus is to utilize the Canva feature, it's a waste of your money. Do not upgrade, just don't do it. Don't give Sam and the FTC your money because ultimately that's where all of ChatGPT's money is going is to fines for the FTC. So don't do it. Follow some of these other tutorials on how to create Pinterest pins.